Hey everyone, today's toy review is on the SH Figure Arts, The Mandalorian, The Child. Yes, The Child, not Baby Yoda, The Child. And as you can see, I've recently received this um, from agelessgeeks.com and I'm very happy to actually have it in hand and be able to uh, review it for you guys. And as you look inside of this item, and it has a nice window box look to it, and it's got a nice bronze colored um, uh, looks to the actual borders right here. And inside you can see the actual figure in the middle and then you can see two alternate heads and other hand options. And then you have the pram, I believe it's what it's called, the floating baby carriage as I call it, or just the egg itself. And as you can see the box itself is very tiny. It's kind of nice though, it's very nice and compact. And in the sides you just have the Mandalorian with the nice little hologram there, really cool. On the other side you have an actual uh, photo of the actual child holding up its soup and in the back you have other photos of actual things that you can do with the actual figure inside the pram and how it displays on stuff like that and a lot of the you know Japanese writing down here and down here is also other information and nothing up there it's just also just another Star Wars the Mandalorian the child so I'm gonna open this guy up and let's see how he looks all right, so let's get opening to this thing. Now, I have heard some unfortunate things about this figure that some people were not happy with, but you know, sometimes um, making a figure of this size, especially with some articulation, may become a problem. But I mean, what can you do? Let's just hope that it actually comes out pretty good. Let's open this up. Okay. There it goes. And before I do that, here I have some instructions. And let's look at that really quick. It's always important to read the instructions, people, because, you know, you can't always get these things right. And as you can see, the instructions look very nice. And because they're not uh, in English, they are in Japanese. It does do a great job of giving you like a picture of what things and how things move around. So that's a good look at that. And then let's take this guy out. And there we have the child. And I believe, oh, look at that. something else back here. And back here we have other accessories. I guess I couldn't see that through the actual window box, but what it looks to be is like we have the little blanket that covers him inside the actual egg and the stand for the actual pram and the little figures right there. So uh, let me get it out completely in so we can get a better look at it. Now getting this figure out of the box, I can tell you first impressions, I'm kind of 50-50 on the actual figure because I can tell you um, some of the actual look of the fabric looks really nice, but the actual functionality of it is very difficult to deal with. But the one thing that really stands out to me the most is probably the actual paint job on the actual cheeks to the ears of the actual figure. Um, for some reason, it looks like they airbrushed it with the actual with the paint but it was very sloppily done because it just looks like it goes from the cheek to the it looks like they just shot it from one angle and just sh shot it straight to the side and it doesn't look that great it doesn't give you that good look of like of a shade or if not a uh, fading from the actual ear color to the s skin tone color and i think that's what misses the mark i mean you can probably notice it more on uh, on this guy right here it just looks weird. This is the other uh, alternate heads that it comes with. And as you can see, this one looks more of a, who knows, like a stern or angry-ish look. And then we have the, I'm kind of sleeping, or if not, I'm using the force kind of look. But the actual paint job on these, uh, on the actual ears and cheeks looks really bad. I don't know why. It looks like a brownish color rather than a nice pink color that it's supposed to be so that it gives it a much more like flesh toned look but that was one of the things that so far I can tell you I'm somewhat disappointed on but the functionality of the actual arms and legs are very difficult to deal with I mean it's it's covered by these little ends right here which I like to, which are supposed to be the cuffs to the actual uh, suit or clothing but they I'd look at them as donuts like he's got donuts on his arms and then he's got a giant donut around his neck but the idea is that it's supposed to lay down and it lays down nicely but fidgeting the 
clothing to move it around it can be a little bit i don't know counterproductive and moving it around i, I can't get that much um movement sometimes i have to kind of look underneath it and more as you can see it's just a weird looking thing and i get it you know figure arts had to figure out a way to do this and the kind of things that they did is just super strange but they couldn't create the body because i think maybe they didn't even know how the body looked like because they didn't have no one knows how the body looks like since it is an actual puppet that's being used in the show it's perhaps like they just had to figure something out to work out to make it look like it and let it you know figure out by itself but the overall functionality of it is not too bad and the figure also comes with a set of hands and a bowl of soup that you can actually interchange so that it recreates the scene where he's actually watching Mando and Cara Dune going at it as he drinks his soup. Uh, I wish I can show you exactly how I put this together, but I gotta tell you, it is very difficult moving these, taking these pieces off. I mean, here are the other hands, and I was trying to get these things on, and I actually was hurting my fingertips just putting them on. So it's durable plastic. I hope that that doesn't break at all during this time, but interchanging them is very difficult. And as you can see, it's like, it's it looks great once you actually can get it done. But, oh man, it's tough. I mean, the fun factor out of it, it can be taken out of it just because you have to do so much to um, get it done. But once you get it done and you get it pose, I think it just looks good just to see it on the side and to see how it looks. But him drinking his soup is actually a really good look for him. And here's the version of the child with the other alternate head of his eyes closed where it looks like he could be using the force. And the other thing is that I wish they had another set of hands that allowed him to kind of look like he's using the force where his hands would be palms out uh, towards the, the person or object that he's trying to use it on. But these hands are very difficult to move, as I mentioned. They're like, it's like it only moves a certain way. And you're always fighting it, and that's kind of uncool. You shouldn't have to fight with the figure. You should actually be able to easily pose it. But, I mean, other than the idea, other than just that, I think that could have been something they could have really worked on. And now I come to the accessory, which I think is the saving grace for this action figure, and that is the pram, or the space carriage, or I like to call it the egg. Now, the egg itself right here is really nicely detailed it looks exactly like it did in the actual show and the actual flight stand right here looks really simple and it's very sturdy plastic i like the way it's it is and when you plug it in right here to the actual peg it's actually very sturdy so it you know it's not gonna fall anywhere but taking a closer look at it you can see the painted details on this is very simple but it's very subtle too and then what i like is that along the uh panel lines right here is a little dirtiness and I think that's the thing that really makes it stand out the most and right here underneath it you can see the dirtiness of what it looks like whenever water has fallen on it or whenever it's on all over the place it gets dirty and that's the thing that it goes back to the orig and the original trilogy of the films is dirty space and knowing that everything looks like it's been worn and used and it's functional so it makes sense in, in the mind's eye or the in your head you think yeah this looks like it works and and it's supposed to be like that so it's like really well done and a uh, fun fact I actually worked with somebody in, in a stunt show who actually was a painter for the actual uh, egg this thing the the pram uh, from what the person told me is that when he wasn't working on it he was not aware exactly what was, what the sh this was for, but he knew it was a space carriage. And to his surprise, when the actual show popped up and he saw it, he was really happy to uh, to have seen it and know that he worked on it. So this is just great. And let's look inside of this now. We can actually pop it open this way. And inside, you can see what... I don't know why. I mean, I look at this, I think of like a... I like one of those Easter chocolate eggs. You open it up and you see chocolate in the inside because it's actually brown. You see even yellow, so it kind of feels like it's a yolk. So how can this not be called an egg? But looking at it, 
detail wise um they paint they colored every area here which looks really good i think that is one of the top top things that they do for this figure or the accessories is that the paint job on it is done really well and on the inside right here i'm not sure if you can read it it does say made in i think it says made in china but it says bsp china but it does say lucasfilm limited right on it so obviously this is pretty much a licensed product and it looks really cool so let's get this thing back on here and then see how that looks looks really nice really cool and it also came with this piece of cloth that is supposed to be the actual cloth that covers the child but um, unfortunately they decided to use polyester and if you don't know much about fabric and I'll tell you right now polyester although it looks great and it feels nice it the actual at this scale it doesn't allow it to look like it's a natural fit because it usually doesn't want to it bunches up really awkwardly so I would recommend probably finding another piece of fabric that works better I mean I've for example I have this piece of fabric which kind of functions a little bit the same but I mean you can probably put that in there too but I mean it's it really depends on your preference and I can tell you right now maybe washing this a little bit and using some fabric softener on it uh, hand washing it obviously and maybe it will make it much more uh, easier to move around and pose but that's supposed to be on the inside and let's look at the child on the inside of it so as you can see right here it poses really nicely in there and fits well and if you can remember this looks like a scene that was from the second episode i believe or maybe yes yeah, second episode where the child helps the mandalorian defeat the mudhorn so it's really really nice and this is how the actual child looks like inside the actual egg as always asleep and you can put the cover on it very easily slips on top of each other and he fits in there very well so he looks really he can be placed in there very easily um, but I can tell you right now that this particular cloth fabric won't work because it just doesn't it just feels like it's too much you might have to cut it down or find something to replace it but if you wanted to see a size comparison of this with the Mando. Here we have the Black Series Mando. Looking at the child sleep. Looks really good. Size wise, I think it works well. And for a quick size comparison, here is the figure arts figure next to the Black Series child figure. And you can see that the size difference is huge. Now, whether or not um, one is bigger than the whether or not which one of these two is the uh, correct size it's kind of hard to tell but you can see the significant difference and because this one is a bit bigger you can have a little bit more articulation compared to what uh the limited articulation that this had which was only his arms and his and his head but i will say that this particular figure did have the ability to move the hands so that you can at least do something as though he's doing the force and as you can see how effortly effortless that was for me to do a pose for this figure that should have been the same for this especially at the price point of what they're asking for it's just so much more difficult but once you have that pose you can just leave it there and it'll probably look good and probably the most important comparison that i have to show you is the three stages of yoda species or at least the three stages of what they look like in different age times and as you can see right here here's the child around 50 years old is what we approximately assume that he is here we have yoda and from episode two and three and probably around the age group of around 800 years or 900 years and then we have of course yoda from episode five where we first see him and he's probably already 20 years past from this point and looking a little bit smaller and more frailer so it's interesting to see the three stages at least right now of what he would look like i'm interested in seeing how he would look like in his prime and that would probably fit in this area but 
I mean, seeing the size difference in these guys is very interesting. As you can see, the episode 2 and 3 is much taller. And it is made from the same company as this one, uh, both figure arts. The difference, though, is that the color of the skin is way different. Because, of course, this was more of the uh, digitally made um, character where this was more of a puppet. So they had more of a reference. Whereas this was also a puppet, and this is the Black Series one. The recent new one they came out with the Luke Skywalker training version and I can tell you that this looks really good I mean I'm impressed with the price on this one I think this is probably my favorite overall just because it's from the original trilogy but as you can see the three stages of Yoda species is um, up here so you can tell tell just to see how they look and here we have the figure arts child next to the black series Cara Dune IG-11 and Mandel with Beskar armor and as you can see he fits really well with the actual figures so overall he does fit well with any other line of figures because his height difference doesn't change as much but as you can see he just looks pretty good right here all right guys that is my review of the SH figure arts the child from the Mandalorian show um, overall I think it's an okay figure and I wish it had better articulation or a better way of dealing with the articulation but, I mean, it's not like we're paying a lot of money for it, which we actually are. But I, I just hope that perhaps in the future, um, figure arts, if they decide to make a new one, they learn from their mistakes and do something better with it. And overall, I just think that it is a great figure to have. Especially if you're a completionist like I am. I like to make sure I have like as many Yodas, I'm sorry, the child available. So, yeah. And this is just something that's going to look great on the shelf so that people can just, you know, look at and look at and be happy with. But overall, I liked it. Um, but if you like this video, um, please subscribe, like it. Um, if you have any comments about it, I wish I could have done much better in-depth um, review of this. But unfortunately, it was just a difficult figure to deal with sometimes. But it's just great to have in the collection and hopefully in the future you know they come up with better ones but overall guys thanks a lot for joining me and i hope you guys have a good day and may the force be with you